we want to solve the differential equation using the method of substitution. So far we've learned about general substitutions, Bernoulli equations, and homogeneous equations. It may look like the given differential equation is going to be homogeneous because we can write e to the power of y squared minus x squared as e to the power of y squared divided by e to the x squared. But we're still not gonna be able to write the differential equation in the form of y prime equals a function of y divided by x. And therefore we need to perform a more general substitution. The biggest issue with the differential equation is the exponent of y squared minus x squared. And therefore let's try letting v equal y squared minus x squared. If v is equal to y squared minus x squared, then v prime or dv dx is equal to two y times y prime, applying the chain rule, minus two x. And this is actually good news. Notice if we subtract two x on both sides of the equation, the left side will be two y y prime minus two x, which is equal to v prime. Let's begin by subtracting two x on both sides. And now we perform substitution. Again, the left side is just v prime equals on the right side, we just have e to the v. And now we have a separable differential equation. Let's write v prime as dv dx, and also multiply both sides by e to the power of negative v. This gives us e to the power of negative v times dv dx equals one, because e to the v times e to the negative v is e to the zero, which is one. Now we write the differential equation in differential form, where I can think of multiplying both sides by dx. And now we integrate both sides. On the left, we need to perform u substitution where u is equal to negative v. The antiderivative is negative e to the negative v. We'll include the constant on the right. On the right we have x plus some constant, which we'll call c sub one. Now we need to solve for v. Let's first multiply both sides by negative one which gives us e to the negative v is equal to negative x minus c sub one. Let's let negative c sub one be equal to c and write the right side as c minus x. And now we'll take the natural log of both sides of the equation to solve for v. Simplifying on the left, we have negative v times natural log e, but natural log e is one equals on the right we have natural log of the quantity c minus x. Next let's multiply both sides of the equation by negative one, which gives us v is equal to negative natural log of the quantity c minus x. And now we write the equation back in terms of x and y by replacing v with y squared minus x squared. Next we add x squared to both sides, which gives us y squared equals x squared minus natural log of the quantity c minus x. And now to find the general solution, we square root both sides of the equation. And we are going to have a plus or minus on the right. Simplifying, we actually have two solutions. We have y equals the principal or positive square root of the quantity x squared minus natural log of the quantity c minus x. And we also have y equals negative square root of the quantity x squared minus natural log of the quantity c minus x. Remember the solution of a differential equation is a function of x. And if we include the plus and minus in the solution, it would not be a function. So we actually have two solutions here to the given differential equation. I hope you found this helpful.